Shaman is uh, here on set with me and can uh, give us some more of the context of the headlines in, in this report, Shimon. Definitely, as you've said, it's literally just come in in the last few moments, but it is quite interesting uh, what's being said. They've said that because of what the Department for Working Pensions have told them, the Ombudsman, during the investigation, that they have reason to believe that it will not take steps, the Department for Working Pension, to put it right. They add that uh, complainants have also told the Ombudsman that the Department uh, for Working Pensions' uh, ability or... Uh, intent to put things right are also in question. They added that given the urgent need for justice, we are presenting our report to Parliament, uh, saying that we are asking Parliament to intervene and to identify a way to provide appropriate remedy. They add that we think that this will be the quickest way to put things right, saying that in addition to paying compensation, they've also made it clear that the Department for Work and Pensions should acknowledge its failings and apologise for the impact it's had on, on complainants and others similarly affected. Now, they've also added that um, whilst this isn't legally binding, that it is extremely rare that an organisation that it investigates doesn't accept their recommendations. So they are suggesting that they do uh, want Parliament to, to act on this. Obviously, that would be today's Parliament, today's government's uh, duty to then re respond to and perhaps enact um, the, the compensation scheme that they want to see enacted, but remind us the timeline of this. Which government passed the law initially? Uh, which government updated it and changed it and uh, is sort of accused, I guess, of not sufficiently informing the women that were born in the 1950s at this effect? Well, it was back in the late... 1990s that it was actually uh, introduced and, and spoken about. It was back in, in 1995. So we're talking almost 30 years ago now. However, when it was introduced and when it was being discussed at that time, they were talking about introducing it in a phased approach in uh, between 2010 and 2020. But when the coalition government came into power back in 2011, they accelerated the programme and introduced it in 2018. It meant that there were millions of women that were born in the 1950s that had planned uh, what they were going to do for retirement. They may have set aside a pot of money thinking they only had a few years left to retire. And those few years ended up uh, becoming six or seven years. So the uh, WASPI organisation have been arguing that it's had a huge financial impact on these women, many of whom will find it difficult to gain employment as well. The reason why this was a topic of, of conversation is because we have an ageing population and the government wanted to try and cut costs really when it comes to paying out pensions um, so they were trying to reduce costs to the taxpayers so what we're hearing now from the ombudsman could suggest that the government may have to cough up that money anyway 